Hey buddies, the Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far and welcome back for more RL Craft. In this video, we are going to be teaching you all about Champions, which is a new mob variant type or mini boss type that can spawn randomly in your world. First things first, let's talk about the general rules and how Champions work. Champion mobs can be identified by the particle effects they have and a boss bar that appears when looking at them. With a, from a max distance of 50 blocks. So if you look at them, it will show you their boss bar, it will show you the color, the number of stars, what its name is, and what its effects, abilities, or affixes, as they're called, are. We'll talk about those in a minute, but more about the general mechanics on how they work. Champions have more health and armor, do more damage, move quicker, have increased knockback resistance, and have champion effects or affixes creeper explosions are also increased they are also a new way to get enchanted books because they have a guaranteed drop chance for enchanted books which is pretty cool champions can be one to five stars and champions have custom names that can be seen in their boss bar like we just saw champions spawn randomly but cannot spawn from mob spawners unless those mob spawners have a modified mob example mob spawner cannot spawn champions Zombie spawner cannot spawn champions, but a spawner of armored zombies, such as in roguelike dungeons, can spawn champions. Tameable and summable mobs cannot be champions, and mimics can also not be champions. Champions can also never be infernal. An active beacon will prevent champion spawns within a 64 block radius. Spawning up to a distance of 64 blocks. I guess that's probably radius. And when a five-star champion is defeated, it will have a death message in chat. All right, so we've got our five five levels of champion mob. It's just one star, two star, three star, four star, and five star going yellow, orange, blue, purple, and red. Now these get a lot stronger as the stars increase. Let's let's talk about the the increase in stats. All right, I go through each individual stat uh, individually. So health increase, respectively, one through five, is a plus 0 0.5 times base health damage. So plus 0 0.5 times plus uh, base health. So 1.5 times health overall. Then tier two is plus 1.5 times, plus three times, plus five times, then plus 7.5 times. So five stars have 8.5 times total overall health the armor increase goes from plus one plus 1.5 plus six plus 10 and plus 15 plus 15 armor at tier five tier fives get really tanky they also have a damage increase of plus 0 0.5 times base damage so again tier one is is 1.5 times base damage because it's plus 0 0.5 times base damage Plus 1.5 times, plus 3 times, plus 5 times, and plus 7.5 times. So it scales uh, respectively with their health. So your tier 5 has got 8.5 8 times health and 8.5 times damage overall. Knockback resistance increases steadily from 0 0.05 to plus 0 0.75 at the top. Creeper explosion strength goes to 4, 6, 8, 10. Now in terms of drops... They drop one enchanted book per star. So one, two, three, four. And the tier five will also drop a, it'll drop four enchanted books plus one enchanted book of a level 30 enchant guaranteed. So that's really cool. They'll have one, two, three, four, five champion affixes respectively. And in terms of spawn rate, there's actually a very low chance. It goes 0 0.65%, 0 0.245, 0 0.8. 07875 0 0.021 and then 0.00525% for the tier 5 guys. So they are incredibly rare. I don't I don't even know if I've ever seen one of these guys uh, a tier 5. I've definitely seen a tier 4, but I don't know if I've ever seen a tier 5 champion in a, in an actual playthrough yet. Um, they are very very rare. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. They also have a speed bonus of Plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, and plus five. So they get faster the higher the tier as well. Basically, they hit harder, they have more health, they're tankier, they're faster, and they drop better stuff. Now let's see how tanky this guy is. This has got Lively, Scrapper, Reflecting, Knockback, Molten. We'll, uh, we'll talk about the affixes in a second, but I have a Great Cleaver here. And you can see how much, how much health he has overall. I mean, the Cle Great Cleaver, I think, by default, should be doing 40 damage on second second and above hits. 
And this guy's lively, so he's also gaining uh, bonus health. Not all mobs can be lively, so we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but he has a passive health regen. Not all mobs can get that. Kapa! Uh, excuse me. Alright, so let's talk affixes. There are 16 different affixes that champions can have. Adaptable. Champion will take less and less damage from the same consecutive damage type, very similar to parasites that are adapting. 15% damage reduction every hit, up to a maximum of 90% reduced damage. Arctic. Fires a shulker projectile every second that gives slowness 3, plus mining fatigue 3, does no damage, and lasts for 4 seconds. Cinder. Fires a shulker projectile every second that will damage and burn anyone it hits. Dampening. Reduces the damage of indirect attacks. Example, arrows. Damage reduction of 80%. So dampening mobs are very strong against projectiles. Desecrator. Peri periodically spawns a cloud of harming underneath its target every three seconds. Cloud takes a second to start doing damage after being placed, and cloud lasts for 10 seconds. Cloud has a four block diameter. Hasty. Drastically increases movement speed, plus 0 0.25 movement speed. Infested. Attacking and being attacked will spawn silverfish that will attack its target for every 0 0.5 health lost. It will spawn a silverfish. Can only spawn a max of two silverfish when hit. So if you do two damage, it will only spawn two silverfish instead of four. And it takes three seconds to spawn more silverfish. It can have a max of 20 silverfish following it. Big pain in the ass. Jailer. 20% chance per attack to jail targets, making them unable to move for five seconds. Honestly, this is savage. This is... This could easily kill you. Knockback. Increase knockback from attacks, plus five times base knockback strength, which will also slow targets for a small period of time, giving slowness three for five seconds. Lively, which will, which is the thing we just saw a moment ago, regenerates one health per second. This increases to five health per second when not attacking or pursuing any targets. If it's attacked, it will not regenerate health for three seconds. Mobs that cannot be lively include the Ender Dragon, Wither, Amalglitch, Asmodeus, and Rehavart. Molten, grants fire resistance and attacks have armor penetration and set the target on fire. Also gets damage from rain and water. Useful to know, potentially. Plagued. Gives nearby creatures range of three blocks with the plague effect. No. Gives nearby creatures range of three blocks the plague effect for 15 seconds. Anyone with this effect will get poison one for 10 seconds. Reflects back 10. Reflective. Reflects back 10 to 15% damage to its attacker, up to a max of 100 damage reflected. Scrapper. Attacks have a 40% chance to inflict the injured effect, which decreases healing and increases damage taken. Shielding. Periodically shields itself from all damage. It shows white particles when it's invulnerable. Shielding is actually a major pain in the butt um, and can cause a lot of issues, particularly if it's a strong champion. Shielding, it feels like it's shielded like a large portion of the time, but it will have white particles when it's invulnerable. So that's how you can kind of keep an eye out for that. And finally, Vortex periodically pulls targets towards itself which can also be pretty savage and that's pretty much that but let's see how fast homeboy is come on mate go for a run hmm. but let's see there's the five health regening because it's not in combat so it counts as out of combat pretty quickly you can see it has 172 hp damn there he goes fast boy now let's uh, let's finish it off and see what enchants it drops. Oh, it's only doing like 15, 15, 14 damage per per strike. I'm not getting the full hit, but all right. And what enchants do we get from that? We got Culling One, Luck of the Sea Two, Viper Three. That's actually pretty pog. Advanced Protection Two, Hot Diggity Damn, dude. And then Smelting and Thirty Three. So Advanced Protection and Viper Three, very very nice. And, uh, and yeah, that's that, man. That is, uh, that is champions. That's how champions work. And, uh, they can be, they can be pretty savage. I've definitely been wrecked by, uh, a couple of high tier champions early on in playthroughs. Because they're so freaking fast. Sometimes you're like, you just can't do anything. Jailing is savage. Shielding is savage. Some of the other effects aren't too bad. But some of them are really, really rough. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. It's always great to see you in the comments, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts.